say, hi, mom. She's Facebook Live in Thailand right now, so. <laughs> All right. Growing up in Thailand, my knowledge of musical theater was very limited. So forgive me that I only know of Rent and Jonathan Larson when I was 18. So apparently someone in my dorm in Michigan loved to sing Seasons of Love in the hallway. <laughs> so after hearing it looping over and over and over again in the hallway, I finally Google 525,600 minutes. <laughs> and that is how I discover Seasons of Love. And that is how I discover Rent. And th that is how I discovered Jonathan Larson. And within weeks of discovery, I bought the original cast recording and the piano vocal scoff rent. And a couple of years later, I traveled to New York City over spring break and got to see the show before it closed. And I remember going inside the theater and not even 20 minutes after the show started, I was in tears and I kept thinking to myself, what a beautiful story, what a joy and what a life. And that was one of the moments in life I wish I could write something that meaningful to the world. When I think of theater community, I often compare it, it with food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, very foodie here. But here in New York City, when you decided what you want to eat for a meal, you have so many options. You can go to the diner and get a burger, or you can get sushi or steak or pho, or taco, or a healthy bowl of salad. The beauty, of it, the beauty of it is that we have freedom to choose many variety, and the freedom to try many new things, to add more kinds of cuisines in our favorite list. Because after all, I don't think any human wants to live his or her life with only pasta or burger for every meal. <laughs> so this is my definition of theater. And that is why theater is awesome. It is a place where you can explore and, and discover. And it's also my definition of America, the country where wild rice has been eaten for centuries and where cuisines like, I mean, dishes like pad thai becomes popular. <laughs> and that is why America is awesome. <laughs> so it is my pleasure and honor to be standing here with all of you tonight and I promise I will keep cooking my best pad thai for all of you, <laughs> as a metaphor, of course. So. <laughs> so, one last thing. In Thai, we said kap kun ka, for thank you. So kap kun ka for American Theatre Wing. Kap kun ka, Jonathan Lawson and his family. Kap kun ka to everyone at NYU GMTWP. To my friends and, of course, my family, Kap Kun Ka, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Nataya. Buju anin ez yayin gi jigindij na kaz wa swaganin nandun japa magizin nando dem. Wabanung jawanung naga binung minung ki wedanung. Miguetchka e ga kinegego, a bugging in the garde go ma king, miguetchki je money do, a dapanan ao asema. Good evening. Um, it is an honor. I am humbled to be here. I thanked my entire family and clans of um, my nations in which I come from and descendant of Chief Buffalo, the Ojibwe and the Oneida tribes. Um, so I just wanted to give a shout out to these folks um, there. Uh, the, the first time that, um, I guess like I was born on the reservation there in northern Wisconsin and the first I heard about Jonathan Larson was this, um, a group of hippies decided to do a song cycle from Rent or something in the woods and, um, you know. So, um, you know, on the reservation, there's a subsistence community. There's not a whole lot out there. There's no microphones or anything like that. But I remember them hopping around from stump to stump, singing this beautiful music and really singing beautiful things. So when my family finally traveled to the city, you know, I was able to, like, look it up on the Internet and see, like, oh, this is musical theater. They're really actually singing about a story that's being created. And since I come from a long line of storytellers, I felt very akin to um, Jonathan Larson, um, mostly because also I really 
related to the the way that he was able to write about marginalized oppressed groups um, coming from this reservation, as well as the LBGTQ folks, uh, transgender and non-binary folks at a time where this wasn't spoken about. So it was really deeply touching to me. So the moment that I realized that I had been given this type of access to make art that I'm called to do for myself, more importantly, to give stories to others and the world to make change, even if it's with one single person or a living thing like a feather from an eagle, I thought, or a drink of water from Standing Rock, these connections, these connections, I needed to make sense of the world. And this is how I was relating. So especially now. Um, I just want to say that I think Jonathan Larson's a game changer, and so this is the exact moment when I heard these songs that I, I felt connected and I felt inspired, and I still do. So Jonathan sent messages for the future of generations to come, to keep going, to keep writing, and being here at this award ceremony with all of you to celebrate something hopeful for me is an act of justice. So I wanna thank Jonathan Larson and the family, the American Theater Wing, and all my friends and family here to celebrate. I also wanna give a shout out to my, uh, my Uncle Jim, who's watching from the Book of Faces live feed. Uh, folks on the reservation where they do get the internet, and folks out at Standing Rock, my mom, my father, my uh, late Auntie Lois, my friends, the nest, my nest, my friends, my loved ones, folks from my community of the Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee folks, Art Equity, Two-Spirit folks, and those little queer folks hiding in corners to let you know that you're welcome into this great hoop of life, this great circle. Um, so this is for you, a big miigwech to um, also my collaborator, Tataya, so for being with me on this journey. It's, um, I don't know, we have more to go, more to write about, and um, when they go low, Tataya, we go high. Stones with stones. 
reason why we can all say goodbye, cause the trees are growing.